You know, in our own lives, it's easy to be consumed by our daily worries and our daily concerns. And it is even easier at a time when everybody's busy, everybody is stressed, and everybody, our culture, is obsessed with wealth and power and celebrity. And often it takes a brush with hardship or tragedy to shake us out of that, to remind us of what matters most. We see an aging parent wither under a long illness, or we lose a daughter or a husband in Afghanistan. We watch a gunman open fire in a supermarket. And we remember how fleeting life can be. And we ask ourselves, how have we treated others? Whether we've told our family and friends how much we love them. And it's in these moments when we feel most intensely our mortality and our own flaws and the sins of the world that we most desperately seek to touch the face of God. So my prayer this morning is that we might seek his face not only in those moments, but each and every day. That every day as we go through the hustle and bustle of our lives, whether it's in Washington or Hollywood or anywhere in between, that we might every so often rise above the here and now and kneel before the eternal. That we might remember, okay, the fact that those who wait on the Lord will soar on wings like eagles, and they will run and not be weary, and they will walk and not faint. When I wake in the morning, I wait on the Lord, and I ask him to give me the strength to do right by our country and its people. And when I go to bed at night, I wait on the Lord, and I ask him to forgive me my sins, and look after my family and the American people, and make me an instrument of his will. I say these prayers hoping they will be answered, and I say these prayers knowing that I must work and must sacrifice and must serve to see them answered. But I also say these prayers knowing that the act of prayer itself is a source of strength. It's a reminder that our time on earth is not just about us. That when we open ourselves to the possibility that God might have a larger purpose for our lives, there's a chance that somehow, in ways that we may never fully know, God will use us well. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And may he bless this country that we love.